Among the scenes that we have seen in the last week, so much destruction from the wildfires in Spokane County. We've also seen glimpses of nature's terrifying power. What you're looking at from last weekend on the fire lines of the Oregon Road fire, right in the center of your screen is a swirling column of flames. One of the most dangerous and also mesmerizing things firefighters can witness on the fire lines. Our meteorologist Matt Gray is live in the First Alert Weather Center tonight to explain what we're seeing. Matt. So this right behind me here, it looks kind of like a mini tornado made of fire and well, that's pretty much what it is. It's called a fire whirl. This one was pretty small, but the thing is they can grow much, much larger and be much more dangerous. Fire whirls are caused by the fire interacting with rotating winds that are flowing towards the flames. Objects between where the wind is coming from and that fire creates a little spinning eddy of air behind them. Examples for smaller fire whirls like the one you just saw from the Oregon Road fire could be a building or a large rock or a tree. Sometimes even the fire itself and the difference between all that heat and the ground around it can be a source for rotation. Now as this rotating air moves over the fire, that incredible heat from those flames takes that rotating air it stretches it upwards and it also tightens it up into a fast moving rotating vortex of fire small fire whirls they usually stay in one spot but larger ones can move significant distances and have strength that is comparable to tornadoes in 2018 the national weather service estimated that a large fire whirl near redding california get this produced 143 mile per hour winds that's an ef3 tornado this is another tornado sized fire whirl that i'm putting on your screen just now and it happened just last week about 330 miles northwest of spokane in a little place called Gold Bridge, British Columbia. Now, in this case, winds were blowing across the fire towards the lake that you see in the foreground of this video. It got that fire whirl started, and then the whirl itself carried out over the water once it got big enough. So really some incredible footage of what is a fairly rare event for them to get as big as you see behind me here. Thankfully, those large fire whirls, pretty rare but even moderately sized ones can have a significant threat to firefighters' safety, and they will slow down the process of getting these fires under control.